Setting up your InDesign document correctly from the start is a crucial step in any design or print project. Before we start, here's how a trifold document works. We have two pages and you can see in the photo where each panel is located. We will be adding content to each panel and across the panels. Okay, let's set up our document. First, go up to File and select New Document or click on the new file on the home screen if that's what you see when you start InDesign. Once you've done that, you'll be presented with your new document dialog panel. Now we need to set our paper size next. Since I'm in the UK, I'll be working with A4 size, which means setting the width to 297 millimeters and the height to 210 millimeters, which is also a preset in the print menu, along with some other size options. If you're in the US, you can follow along using US letter or legal size instead. Just keep in mind that US paper sizes are measured in inches. So for example, letter size is 11 inches by 8.5 inches in landscape. The setup process is exactly the same. You'll just be working with different dimensions. We need this document to be in landscape mode and we need two pages, one for the front and one for the back of the brochure. Let's also set up the document spacing. This time I'll set the gutter, which is the gap between columns, to 5mm, which is about 0.2 inches, and this keeps the content a little closer to the edges while giving some breathing room. For now, we need to turn off facing pages. Since this is a trifold, we need to divide the page into three sections. To do that, we'll set the columns to three and adjust the margins, which is the space around the edge of the columns, to 10 mil, which is roughly 0.4 inches. This adds a bit more space between the fold lines and matches the gutter spacing. We will leave all the other settings for the moment. Now that everything is set exactly to how you need it, let's have a look at how we can save this for future use. Up here at the top, we can name our document, but next to that is the Save as Document Preset icon. Click this and we're taken to the Preset menu. Here it will ask you to name your preset and also let you make any final setting changes. Give it something clear like A4 Trifold Brochure Setup and click on Save Preset. From now on, whenever you create a new document, you can find your saved setup under the Save tab in the New Document window over here. Just select your preset, click Create, and InDesign will automatically apply all your preferred settings, saving you time and ensuring consistency across projects. Now that's all set, we're ready to move on. Okay, now that we've set up our document, let's start adding some content. If this is your first time using InDesign, don't worry, I'll walk you through it step by step. By the end of this video, you'll have a great foundation for creating your first trifold brochure. Before we begin, let's make sure that we have everything we need visible. If you don't see the control bar at the top of your screen, go to Window Control to turn it on and off. This will give us quick access to font size, colors, alignment, and making things a lot easier for us as we go. Now InDesign works with frames and the two most important tools we need today are the rectangular frame tool and the type tool. Let's start by adding some image frames throughout the document. Over in the toolbar, click on the rectangle frame tool and then click and drag to draw placeholders for your images like so, using the guides and columns to align them. If you need to resize later, just click on a frame and adjust it. InDesign makes this super flexible. Now that we've done that, let's add some text frames. Frames enable you to control the placement and flow of objects and the text that you add to them. To begin with, we'll first select the text tool, but before drawing anything, let's set up our copy font and size in the control bar at the top. For this project, we'll use Acumen Pro Regular at 12 point for the body text or any sans serif font of your choice, but I do recommend using a font already installed with InDesign from Adobe Fonts. We're not going to touch the color at the moment, and with that set, click and drag to create your text frames throughout the document, just like we did for the images. Let's move to the front cover on the far right of the top page and add our title, subtitle, and then our first image. 
To do this, just select the text tool, then click inside the top frame and type our coffee club title and then the subtitle in the frame below. Since we want the cover to stand out, highlight the text and either use the contextual taskbar to change the font and size or directly from the control panel above. We'll go with RL Aqua Black for this or any decorative font you wish to use. Then set it at 36 points for the title and 17 points for the subtitle. Colours will come later, so for now we'll keep it black. We're also going to centre the text for the title and subtitle on the cover. Now let's add our images, starting with the cover. Click on that first image frame and go to File Place and select the cover image from where you saved the images supplied with this tutorial and then click Open. It might not look perfect at first, but don't worry. Just click on the Content Aware Fit button in the contextual taskbar. This uses Adobe's AI to automatically adjust the image so it's well balanced in the frame, saving you time. We'll repeat this process for the remaining images in the top two panels for the outside using the images supplied. For the final image on the inside of the document, the photo of the two hands and the coffee cup, we'll place it into the lower frame using the same steps. If we want this image to extend to the edges when printed, we'll need to add a bleed which we skipped when setting the document up. To set a bleed, just go to File Document Setup or you can use a shortcut. If you're on a Mac, press Command Option P or if you're on Windows, press Control Alt P. In the Document Setup window, find the Bleed and Slug section. Then set the top, bottom, left and right bleed to 3mm and then click OK. You'll see that a red outline will appear around the document. This ensures that the image doesn't have any white edges when printing. Now we'll slightly increase the size of the lower image frame so that it extends to the bleed guide. And once we've done that, we'll just click on the Content Aware Fit button again just to make sure it fits. With our images in place, let's add the body text. I already have mine ready to copy and paste, which we supplied for you to use, but you can also type it in manually. If your text is from another document and has a different font, don't worry, InDesign will automatically apply the font settings we've assigned to the text frames earlier on. To make the layout more engaging, let's change the font for the section titles using the same title font from the cover. And that's it for this stage. We've now built the basic layout of our trifold brochure, complete with text and images. In the next tutorial, we'll bring in colour, creative touches and extra design elements to make it really stand out. I'll see you there. Let's have a quick reminder of what we're creating by looking at the final brochure again. We have our text and images in place, so it's time to bring everything together with colour, refine the design and get it ready for print. To make our design more cohesive, we'll pull colours from the cover image using the colour theme picker. To do that, just select the eyedropper tool and then hold to select the colour theme tool mode. Then just click on the cover image and InDesign will instantly generate a colour palette from it. Simply click the Add to Swatches icon and now we have a set of custom colours ready to use. Let's now start applying them. First, we'll highlight the cover title text and change it to the brown colour and then we'll do the same for the subtitle but using the pink colour. Simple changes but they really bring the design together. Next, let's apply the blue colour to the upper frame. To do this, just select the frame, go to the swatches panel, find our new colour theme again and apply the blue. We also need to extend the blue frame to fit to the bleed lines the same way we did with the lower image to ensure the colour goes all the way to the edges. Once we've done that, you'll see that the text isn't readable now, so let's fix that. We're going to change the colour to white from the swatch panel. In InDesign, white is called paper. We'll apply that colour to the text in all the affected frames by highlighting the text and clicking on white or paper. 
For the section titles, let's use the cream colour from our swatches to keep the design consistent. Now let's introduce a circular design element for balance. To do that, just select the ellipse tool in the toolbar, hold shift and drag to create a perfect circle. Position it in the center of the middle inner panel on the second page here. To place an image inside, select the circle, go to file places before, choose the image and click open. And if you need to, adjust it using the content aware fit for the best composition. To make the circle stand out, we'll add a stroke using one of our theme colors. We'll select the stroke color in the control panel by clicking on the swatch and selecting the pink color, then increase the weight to four point. We'll also add a stroke to the cover image, but this time in brown to match the title. Now a cool little addition. Let's add a QR code for some interactivity. To do this, just go to Object, Generate QR Code, then select Web Hyperlink and enter the website URL. Click OK and InDesign will generate this QR code. Then drag it into position like it was a frame and resize it so that it fits neatly in the center area of the brochure next to the QR code text. We'll just add a couple of little extra elements to refine the design and then our design is finished. With everything in place, it's time to export for print. To do this, go to File Export, decide where you're going to save your PDF and click Save. And then under Marks and Bleeds, check Use Document Bleed Settings to include our 3 mil bleed. Then click Export and your print ready PDF is complete. And that's it. We've added colour, refined our layout, placed final images and included a QR code for engagement. Now your trifold brochure is polished and ready for print.